Yo, what's up? This your boy Terry Kennedy. We chilling with Vlad TV. We out here winning, baby. Yada. Make sure y'all check my show on BET called Being Terry Kennedy. Every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Yada. You and Currency have been going back and forth recently. Yeah, and I, I'm glad people have been bringing this up a lot lately, too, because I really don't got nothing against Currency. I really don't. Like I said, I told, I had an interview yesterday, and they asked me the same scenario. You know, what, what happened with it? I said, at the end of the day, Currency always came to us straightforward and told us, like, dude, I, I don't want to be in a group with no one. I want to do my own thing, which I respect because he's been, you know, chasing his dream and trying to do his thing for the longest. He just never had the chance to really pop on the level that he wanted to. So, at the end of the day, I could feel where he's coming from. Like, I just don't want to continue to get around people and always happen to be in a group or never being able to do me as a person, and which I respect. So, long story short, yeah, we, we were always just the design sense, and he always told us, you know, we do music, but I ain't trying to be in a group. But I'm, I got love for y'all. I'm cool with you, T, and anytime you want to do music, I'm down for it. You know, and the trouble started in the sense of I knew that, but my friends didn't know that. So my friends reached out to try to do some music, and they was just like, man, I really don't mess with y'all like that. Mm -hmm. And that's where all that came about. I never said, that. and like I said, he, they took an offense of which I know they would have took a personal because they thought, you know, we were all on the same level, which they didn't know that. So when he, like I said, they reached out to do some music with him. He, you know, responded in a, in, a, in a messed up manner, like, you know, like, I ain't, you know, I'm cool on y'all, whatever, I don't hold them, and then they took it upon themselves. And, like, I just got the short end, I got the bad, the, the short end of the stick, because I was in the situation, you know, and I told them, I'm like, just let it be, you know, like, you can't get mad at this man, because I already knew, you know, y'all just didn't know, I was like, there's nothing to get mad at him about, like, he told us he wasn't trying to be in a situation like that with us, he wanted to do his own thing and, and pursue, so there's nothing to be mad at, like I'm saying, and... They took it personal, and then from there it started that back and forth thing. And I'm like, dude, just let it go. Well, but you, you know, you've never spoken out. I have. I never. No. I never. I just happened. Like I said, I happened to get the short end of the stick because I was in a situation with them, and I told them, I'm like, dude, don't take it personal. Like I already talked to this man about it. You know, let it go. You know, if anything, I wrap it. Do something positive. Right. If you felt like that, it make him feel like he need to be on a team with you. Do something in that manner, and. Like I told them, they let it go. I told them, let it go, man. Don't don't speak or let it go. And they everybody didn't let it go about it. And you know, I don't know how he feels about it, but I ain't got nothing against it. Have you spoken to him since? I haven't. I haven't. But like I'm telling you, that I had, I have I have nothing against him. It's not a negative bone in my body against him. I got you. You know.